Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl A. In today's video, it's another Shein haul, you guys. I'm starting to really like to do these Shein hauls because I've got addicted. If I'm going to get addicted, I figure you guys can get addicted with me to the Shein flash sales. So some of these items in this haul are not from the flash sale because they do have new items coming out that I would like to get, like new fall clothes and stuff like that. You know, all that cool stuff. But yes, you guys, I all hope you're having like an amazing day. It's your girl A and we here and we ain't come to play. Like I told you guys before, I love Shein's flash sales, Shein's flash sales sales for some reason i can never pronounce the f without like it's just a hard one for me but anyway so i did get a lot of different things from household to to trinkets and gadgets listen i'm gonna have to stay off their website because they are doing me no good at all when it comes to saving my money and if y'all are feeling my ponytail today let me know because i am getting ready for the swv drew hill and jodeci concert it's this evening so me and my girls are going and one of these outfits i'm gonna wear i'm, I'm thinking more or less the first outfit i'm not really sure but we'll decide that in a minute so let's just jump into this Shein haul, you guys. If you know Shein, you know they have amazing stuff for affordable prices from home decor, shoes, hair accessories, hair, wigs, ponytails, jewelry, clothing, baby stuff, dog stuff. They got everything. And so I decided just to pick up a little bit of everything. It's in no particular order, but we're just going to show it, okay? So I did see this on their website, which is the X9 Visual Visualizable Smart Doorbell. This was on a flash sale for $10. You guys, I did read the reviews before purchasing, and I think I do that with a lot of places, especially like Shein. Shein and Amazon is where I mainly shop shop and I always wait for the reviews only because if you don't like it and you don't like it and you don't like it and you don't like it I might not like it either so I do rely on the reviews a lot yes as for my ponytail I can't remember where I got this hair from I do believe I did purchase this hair from Amazon it is a human hair um ponytail it's a wrap ponytail and I just decided to do some different designs on the side of my head just that side because this would have been a little bit too much hair. so this is the ring doorbell and you can charge it it does charge it's chargeable and it also has like a sticky backing so you can just stick it up on the surface or you can also use the screws that come with it I'm not really sure which would be the easiest because you do need to charge this thing so I'm not really sure how you go about this i'm gonna have to figure that part out but i did press this and it, it made like this weird um what? I don't know what she was saying, but it does come with instructions and it's a little booklet. You can easily get the instructions if you get the QR code and then you'll be good to go, girl. You'll probably get better instructions. And this is the part that definitely goes outside. And then I'm not really sure what this part is right here. I guess this is the receiver end part where you just have to get yourself one of those like plugs, like, you know, you know, one of those plugs and just plug it in really simple, simple, easy to use. But it does come in two colors. I read really good reviews about it. Not saying that it has like the best, amazing 5K, 10K, quality when it comes to visualizing it, but it did come with good quality from what I was reading. I have yet to set it up as you guys can see here because I'm not really good with trinkets and gadgets and electronics. So I really tried to stray away from it for a while until I get up the nerve. My car, I did get one of these car size humidifiers. I think this was like $2 and some chain. And it's so cute because all you gotta do is put your oils in here and it does come with a cord. All you need is a USB cord charger or one of those in your car already installed. And you got some good smell and stuff. I thought this was really, really cute for $2. It fits right in the cup like the cup holder part it has the power button here and girl listen i like for my car to smell good don't come up in my car smelling bad because i will tell you to leave okay i do keep like a lot of different sprays in my car because i do want to smell good i do want my car to smell good i'm just saying so i did see this not like i really really needed it but i figured i would give it a try and this is their melting band okay so this is one of those melting bands that you put on when you're doing your wigs but for those of you guys who sleep in them and sleep with these melting bands i'm pretty sure your ears do get a little bit uh sore from the elastic on your ears so they created these with earmuffs on them now when i I got this in the mail girl when i finally got it, i realized that this ain't nothing but a good old powder puff okay you know the kind of powder puff look for one you have to put it on yourself so it came like this nothing but a good old powder puff so if you have some of these laying around in your house don't have to be a match or anything like that you don't even have to have used them okay and if you have some of these in your house just string them on your your melting band and sleep in it i think this was like two dollars but the normal price i think was like five dollars i don't know i could be wrong but i just wanted to give it a try even sometimes i'm just wearing it for like a couple of minutes to start hurting my ears i'm not really sure how it's going to interfere with the actual wig itself but i figured it was a nice gesture for me to try out for my own self okay now i did get a new phone which was the um the latest iphone and i was super excited about that i think when i get things that's new i like to buy new things for that particular thing you know what i'm saying like i like accessories for my phone and i will buy like 10 different phone cases and only use like one or two probably like the sixth one that i got from shein very durable i do like the fact that it has a raised portion right here a raised spot right here in the back to protect your lens but these are really durable i do have one in black pink and blue purple okay you name it i got quite a few of them from Shein. 
then um, listen, if you go on Amazon, which was my favorite, they are like triple the price. So why would I even dare to do that? Okay. I'm just saying, check Shein out. They got like amazing stuff, girl. Now listen, I love me a good fanny pack, okay? Lord knows I love me a good fanny pack, girl. Especially when you're going out to concerts, you need like a nice little fanny pack. I don't know about y'all, but I don't like carrying no purse. And besides that, they don't really even let you bring in your bags like that anyway. So I do like a good fanny pack. And I, I do have one that I really, really love. It's like a dupe for the, lip, the, the lemon. Who, what is they called again? Lululemon, okay? They are a dupe for the Lululemon ones. And I absolutely love it. You can get them from Sheen too, because they carry them, girlfriend. Yes, give it up for Sheen. But I wanted something a little bit different in design. Now this one, that one that I have, I'm very satisfied with it because, girl, I am a plus size girl. And sometimes it's hard to find a good fanny pack that will reach around your stomach area, if you know what I'm saying. I think that this will work, girl. I mean, I really did think this would work. Honey, girl, look, this was on um flash sale for like $3.20. And I was like, oh, this is cute. I'm going to get this. I need this little fanny pack. It fit like a waist trainer. Yeah. So I just pulled it in really, really tight. And then I'm going to gather it up on the side and I'm going to give this to my granddaughter so she can have her own little fanny pack. You know, there's so many different ones to choose. I think that it's very beneficial if they put the size of the straps, the length of the straps for each one. They don't really do that for all the fanny pack, which was the outcome of that one right there being too small. But I'm saying $3.20 is not a lot, but it can be if you keep buying things that don't really work out for you. So this right here is for my car for when I'm vlogging. I've had like hell back on earth with all types of different phone holders for my car. And that's only because it gets really, really hot out here and everything effing melts. So for that being said, I decided I would get this one, which was also on a flash sale and it was $3 and some change. And it kind of like clips right here onto your um, rear view mirror to the back of it, like where the bar is at. You just click on and it'll hold it, which I thought was really neat because this was definitely going to work. And you just grab it onto the bar right here. And here's the part where you would just, you know, put it together. Now, hopefully this works or at least holds up for a while. Push these pieces in on the side and you can pull it out. And this opens up as wide as it can. That doesn't sound perverted. But this is what you would do. Just clip it on there and you have your swivel part right here in the front. However you swivel it is how you're going to swivel it. Neat, right? I thought this was neat. This seemed like the best one for me. I did get some sunglasses from them and these I thought were really cute. I'm like big on sunglasses, okay? There are a set that I'm not really feeling, but we'll get to that one in a minute. These was on a flash sale and I like the way they are created. Girl, look. All right. I'm going to have to wear these. I'm not really sure which ones I'm going to wear, but girl, aren't these cute? These are like adorable. And if you case you're wondering about these earrings, yes, girl, they are from Shein as well as these bangle bracelets that I'm really loving. I wear these every day. I did showcase these in my last haul. So I will link that down below. But girl, these glasses are hitting and I love the color of them, but I do like the gold hardware on it. Plus I love a good sunglass that's really, really big. Kind of like frames my face. I never was really big on round glasses, but these ones I'm liking. Now these ones right here, we're going to have to talk about, okay? Shein, we're going to have to talk about these right here. Now, if you guys remember my last uh, Shein haul that I posted up where I was showing some sunglasses and I did get some of them in a three set. And this is one of the pairs that came in a three set from my last haul. Now when I tell you, I absolutely love these. They came with three different colors. It was this like um, neutral color. There it was a blush pink and it was a black. I absolutely love these sunglasses. They're probably like a little dirty right now, but these are like one of my favorites. I love big sunglasses that like this. They square, they kind of like frame my face and take away from my long head. Now, that's what I thought I was getting with these right here, which is also three in a set. Girl, listen, when I pulled them out the box, I was like, these is kind of small. I got like a big head, okay, like a big face. These are these are kind of small. They did come with three colors. I got a black pair, a off white pair, and a pink pair. Now, just from the looks of them, they look kind of small. I did have yet to try them on, so let's just hope for the best. Oh, okay, so these are not really that bad at all. I'm not sure if this is what I'm going for for today, but I guess it depends on the outfit. So these were actually a really nice catch, okay? I think these were like $2 and some change. Although Tati said they reminded her of like something from like the 90s. And that's the kind of look that it gives me as well. But these are really cute. They kind of do give that retro vibe. So I am feeling them. I do like them. Now the black pair kind of reminds me of darkness. So I'm not really sure if I want that color. But then we also have this off-white pair, which I'm not really sure how I feel about the lens color in it. I think the lens color should have been more of like a lighter brown shade but not too bad but i do wish that the lenses was a lighter brown shade because i think it would have brought it all together but that's just in my opinion like look i'm not the one that make these glasses okay so yeah and if you see my edges are a lot thicker today, that's because I took like about seven, eight, ten pieces, nine, ten, twenty pieces of um some hair and just snipped it and just brushed it right on with some of that, you know, got to be glue. Because girl, listen, I was trying to look cute, okay? And here's the blush pink pair. Now these ones I do like. The lenses are a lot lighter, and I think they should have made the white ones like that too. But you know what? I will just switch them out if that's the case, okay? Now, these ones, I think these ones out of the three are my favorite. Let me know which sunglasses you liked out of the three pack or did you even like the three pack at all? I'm just saying it was like $2, I believe. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'll definitely link everything down below and how much I paid for everything. Now, 
I know y'all really don't care about this kind of stuff, but she ain't got everything, y'all. They got everything. So I decided to get these black um, latex gloves just in case I needed them for something. They was on a flash sale. You get 20 of them for a dollar. I'm just saying. Tabby does nails, so she definitely is going to use them. I decided to let her have them. And then I did get one of these really, really cute bracelets for my ankle because I like stuff like this, okay? I like stuff like this. This is my kind of stuff, okay? Aren't, isn't this cute? Super cute. All the noise in the world. So I don't know if I'm going to be wearing this today or not, but I just thought this was really, really cute. Like, girl, you can get you on a budget with she in. I would have definitely wore this, which is a, um, I can't remember if it was 12 pieces or... I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't remember, but it's a ring set. Um, and it, it's for your toes, actually. So, I mean, I'm going to show you on my fingers, but it's actually for your toes. I mean, my toes look cute and stuff now. So, I figured <laughs> I'm going to be dazzled them up. Yes, girl. I mean, you could wear this on your fingers if you wanted to. Y'all like, why are you not prepared? I am prepared, okay? I just forgot that I had to put this on. I don't know. I'm about to put one of these on, okay? So, this is what they look like. Focus camera. This is what they look like. Really cute. I'll definitely leave them on the links down below but i think this was like a dollar some change the one thing i do like about shein and their um accessories is they don't seem to tarnish quick you know what i'm saying they really don't seem to tarnish that quick so that's the one thing that i do like about them they seem to like last for a while i may feel that way because i don't wear them every day certain things but yeah then i thought i would get some makeup because it was on a flash sale had i known that i bought the same color but just in two different brands then i wouldn't have got it but i mean it was only like a dollar seventy now this is supposed to be like some body shimmer Wait, well, yeah. took it off the wrong way. So I don't really have to put this on myself right now because I already have it on myself. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like on, okay? God damn, this is a lot. But this is what the top looks like. It doesn't really distribute that great. I mean, it's not as pigmented as I thought. But however, if you want to take the top and rip it off like I did, then you'll be pigmented as hell, okay? So the other one that I have is the exact same color, just a different brand. This one right here. But this one seems to be a little bit more pigmented. And then for my website, for my business, you know, for the wigs, I do like to add gifts as well as my business card but i did get this pack of thank you cards which i thought was so dope um i can't remember how many was in here i think it's like 100 but it does say thank you for supporting my small business i thought this was so dope and it's a blank back so if you want to write a little message on it you can do so girl okay and also i did get some of these bags which i do put the gifts in then i also did get some thank you stickers and these are super cute because they also do say the same thing thank you for supporting my small business and these are like a dollar 20 didn't say how many you get on the roll but from the reviews the rolls are pretty thick and i think this is like a pretty decent row and then the last one i did get was some more stickers that says some really cool stuff sayings on like happy mail pretty things inside you've got great taste and thank you so this is my way of saying thank you when someone supports my small business like for my wigs and also for my jewelry making okay so let's move on to the items that i got for the try on which are
show you guys something. I did love those black shoes that I did show in my last haul. I really thought they were slides for outside, but it turns out they were slippers. Girl, I'm not the only one that was wearing them outside, okay? So I got them in another color. Just not too fond of the foam color they used, which was white. The black ones are all black on black. I wish they would have used like probably like a black sole for this one, just so they wouldn't get dirty because I did plan to wear these outside. But they're so comfortable and they just are really stylish and they do have slides like this. So that's why I assumed that they were for outside. Also, I did get some other slides that was also on flash sale. These were not. Now, I don't know why I have been wanting these for a minute because everybody kept taking them out of my car or just buying the last ones. But I thought these were so cute. Look, $3, you cannot go wrong with these slides. I did see some like a while ago. I don't think it was at Target that I wanted, but I wasn't ready to pay $20. $3 is more or less up my lane. They feel really comfortable. I cannot wait to wear them. I don't know what I'm going to wear them with. But girl, I'm going to look cute when I go. Just a game.